We're just musicians, man. We just went to play some music for people. And it turned into this huge political rat's nest. What goes up? Blood, Sweat and Tears are one of those bands whose moment is so big. Spinning wheel. We were the number one band in the world. Talking about your troubles, that's Sponsored by the State Department, are you nuts? It just made them look uncool. Going to Eastern Europe was not going to be forgiven by the counterculture. There was an underlying reason why we did this tour. We were blackmailed. Nobody had any idea how East European audiences would react to music that communists had been banning. The contract says that the show must be decent. <laughs> I think we were naive. I don't think we realized how it would bounce up and bite us. The presence of a film crew was a game changer. My vision was to make a concert documentary. When we arrived, things changed. The first thing that we saw when we got off the plane were guards with submachine guns. You could feel the Iron Curtain slam behind you. We were being followed. We were being monitored. I stepped out of the hotel and took a picture, and two guys grabbed me, just like that. The audiences were fantastic. They were really starved for this kind of music. They are looking at freedom, and they're reacting to it. Kids were jumping up out of their seats with peace signs going, USA, USA. This was a bit much for the authorities. Soldiers started to move in. One kid just wanted an autograph. The police beat the crap out of it. Those images will never leave my brain. Regimes, they tried to put their best foot forward when visitors came. That night, the regime took the mask off. There's so much more to this story. You have no idea. Oh,